Hey, I'm Eric Rokich, and I'm here with TJ Hannig, and he is another amazing member over there at Body by Brady. He's here today to talk about the results that he's seen, his experience, in just a really short period of time of being there. So, TJ, thanks for coming on and doing this. It's something I really appreciate that you're doing. Oh, no, my pleasure. Okay, so let's kind of give people a frame of reference. Let's kind of step back a little bit. So before you started training here, what was, I guess, what was the obstacle? What was the issue? What was the goal or thing that you were really trying to overcome? Yeah, well, back in June of 2016, I ruptured my Achilles. So um, I had been sedentary since then, trying to get back into it. Um, and then I saw Matt's post. Um, Matt is good friends with another really good friend of mine. So um, I trusted my buddy and he said, that's, that's a guy you want to go see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so I did. And, um, you know, my background coming from, you know, I was an athlete coming all the way up high school collegiately and a cup of coffee professionally playing soccer. Mm -hmm. Um, and so I worked out all day, every day. That was my lifestyle. And when I retired, it's the last thing I wanted to do was get in the gym. <laughs> and so I <laughs> fell off and, uh, just never got the motivation to go back in. I'd go to the gym a couple times, but being self-motivated in the gym, you're only going to work as hard as you want to work. And so I need, I knew I needed to make changes in my life from my health perspective and getting back in with a coaching methodology, personal training group, semi-personal training group, where there's others that help hold you accountable. And you've got that coaching presence there yeah. uh, to push you along with something that I know about myself that I need. All right. All right. I'm going to pause real quick. So make sure as we're talking to just kind of find wherever the camera is and we're looking generally in that direction it should be down to your right or over to your right. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cause what happens is you're kind of looking a little bit like this. looks like you're talking to somebody else. So I just want to make sure we're cause oh. people like, it's weird to comments I get when sometimes people see that stuff. So just want to gotcha. make sure we're good. Um, okay. All right. So this is something I understand, right? As, you're, you're an athlete, a former athlete, right? You always had a coach, someone always there telling you what to do. And then once you didn't have that, plus all the years of just going through it, you were just like, yeah, I'm kind of, I don't want to do it. All right. You didn't have someone really pushing you to do it. Is that, is that right? Exactly. Exactly right. And so it was a really tough transition going from always having somebody there to not having somebody there. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And so then you finally was like, all right, I'm going to go back and get into it. And then you hurt yourself. Right. Yeah. Or was, so was it like because you were out of shape that you ended up hurting yourself or was just one of those freak type of things? No, nah, I think I think it was just one of those freak things. It was a it was a ruptured Achilles. And, yeah. you know, you see guys, basketball, NBA players, NFL football players in the best shape of their lives turn and yeah, pop right. it. So okay. um, I don't think it was being completely out of shape. Now, admittedly, I was out of shape <laughs> from my <laughs> stand, but um, just wanted to push myself to get back into it. Uh -huh. um, my father passed away at a very young age from heart disease. Okay. His dad passed away at a young age from heart disease. And so I think I owed it to my family to say, I, you know, I, I want to enjoy my grandkids. And I really wanted to break the cycle of adult men in my family passing away from heart disease. Okay. So getting in, getting in shape, giving my wife zero excuse that when it is my time, she can't be angry with me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And so obviously, right, it's not just getting in shape. There's the bigger motivation. It's the family thing. It's the family history to kind of make sure. Yeah, absolutely. There for them. Okay. So you kind of knew of what was going on here. You said through a friend. So, and you, you've had a lot of experience training stuff. So I'm curious to know, like, were you a little apprehensive? Were you a little nervous first time coming in and not knowing what to expect? Uh, no, I really wasn't. Cause Matt did a really good job in the beginning of when we sat down, we went through the goals and then we went through a little mini workout session um, so I kind of knew what I was expecting coming into it. Mm -hmm. um, so I wasn't nervous. I was just excited to get started and yeah. get into the routine again. Yeah, to get back to having somebody there, having that whole Absolutely. that whole fix, I guess you could call it, knowing that that's always right there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. And so you go through it. Um, obviously, you've been part of teams, so you understand the atmosphere type of thing. But kind of describe your experience here. Like, what is it like being part of this group, part of the atmosphere in this place? Uh, the group is amazing from... The, the folks that I work out with, the support, everybody's pushing each other to the trainers that get to know you on a personal level that remember certain things about you and always ask questions, always checking in with you. Um, mm -hmm. So the accountability is phenomenal. Um, I haven't met a person here yet that is I don't like. <laughs> so it makes it fun to go work out because you started to get into the same schedule and the same routine with certain people. And so you're always working out with the same group. Was that kind of something that you were 
maybe looking for in a way is to have that type of connection again? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's, yeah. you know, you, when you get a phone call, if, if for some reason you don't show up to your workout, you know, you're going to get three or four phone calls from folks to say, hey, where were you? Why weren't you here? We missed you. Like so. you, you knew it was going to be similar to this going, but did you know it was going to be like that close or that type no. of feeling? No. no. Um, the, ex the hope was it would be, uh, but going into it, once you actually get into it, you don't realize how close knit of a group it really is. It's like a family. Yeah. 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 Just a, a workout family. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Got a work family, got a real family, got a workout family. Mm -hmm. And obviously again, right. You've had a past very in-depth experience with training and all types of different things. Um, so some people may see this like, Oh, he, you know, he's a pro soccer player, that kind of thing. Right. Is this, is this just for guys like that, you know, or is this for anybody? Can anybody kind of come in here? And, and train? Anybody, anybody can do it. I mean, there it's, it's high intensity and you leave the workouts every morning dripping with sweat. So it's very high intensity, but you work at your own pace. There's no one chastising you if you can't finish an exercise or you can't finish a workout. Um, so, but every time you get through the workout, the goal is I'm going to get through this one. I'm going to get through this one. And as you progress through, you start finding yourself getting through workouts. Mm -hmm. um, so there's nobody here snickering, laughing, looking down on you if you can't finish a workout. Like I said, it's a, it's a huge family and you wouldn't yeah. laugh at family. No, yeah. well, maybe a some, bit. some might, some, might <laughs> some, yeah, but um, but yeah. in this case, no. So, and I'm guessing too, right? Even if someone's not able to finish the workout, let's say maybe because of a physical issue, let's say, right, your Achilles issues preventing yeah. you from doing certain things, do they modify it so that there's still a way around that you're getting that benefit out of it? Yeah, absolutely. So I'm still going through the recovery process, so I can't fully run or do fast twitch, mm -hmm. high impact, plyometric t types of things. So instead of running, I get on my famous row machine. And so I row my way and mm -hmm. while others may be doing running, sprints, those kind of things. Yeah. So yes, absolutely mo exercise modified based on uh, physical limitations. Okay, now let's switch gears. Let's talk a little bit about like the benefits that you've seen, right? Cause you, you were kind of like you said, falling out of shape, kind of just getting a little bit maybe lazy with certain things. So what have sure. you seen benefits wise, results wise since you've been training there? Um, well, First and foremost, I feel better. Um, I, I'm in a better mood by the end of the day because mm -hmm. I've flushed out all the junk. Um, but along with just the workouts, you get the nutrition counseling, you know, eating healthy, you know, drinking the right amount of water, that kind of stuff, which has really, um, I think, improved my core from that standpoint. It's improved my mood. I feel better about myself. Um, I feel like I have a, a little bit more confidence walking around. Um, because I have seen small, but to me, they're, they're gains and mm -hmm. physique and how I look and how I feel. Mm -hmm. Now, obviously I'm, I'm guessing, right. Weight loss probably may not been like a big consideration for you, but was there any numbers at this point that you were keeping track of that you were like, Oh, okay. That was pretty cool that this, this happened. Yeah. So my big thing was percent body fat. So, um, in the first 30 days I dropped, um, almost a point and a half percent body fat, um, mm -hmm. just from you know, the, the three day a week workout and making healthier choices. So even though my weight didn't go down, that wasn't the goal. Mm -hmm. um, I did lose some inches in my arms and in my chest, but I think that's converted over from fat to muscle. Okay. And you talked about, you felt better. You're, you're in a yeah. better mood, all that kind of stuff. Confidence is better now, obviously, right. Well, actually, how long have you been, been here for now that we're talking? Uh, just about 30 days. Okay. So in that month, so this is what you've seen in just 30 days, just in 30 days. So in a way it's, it's been, and correct me if I'm wrong, I don't know if life changing, but lifestyle changing. Absolutely. And that was one of the things when I sat down with Matt in the beginning was I wanted to, to get into a routine to make working out a part of a lifestyle and making that a normal routine versus, Oh, I got to go to the gym again today. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> so, and it sounds like you found that. Yeah. So far. It's been great. Okay. Now let's say there's, uh, let's say there's somebody who, let's say a similar level, right? Or something like a former athlete. Um, and this is something that I can resonate with personally. I understand where you're coming from, but let's say they're feeling the same way. They've kind of let themselves go maybe a little bit and they're thinking about signing up here, but they're kind of on the fence. They're not sure if this is the right place for them. What would you want to say to somebody, maybe kind of encourage them or push them off the fence? You just, you got to do it. I mean, it's, <laughs> Coming from a team atmosphere, coming from a spot where, yeah, maybe you've worked out your whole life and you just dread going back to the gym. Um, this is the exact opposite of all of that. 
it is you come in, you're in a good mood, you see people that are happy to be here, you see people sweating like they've never sweat before when they get out of here, and they're all still smiling. Mm -hmm. So it's a great atmosphere. It's a lot of fun to do. Um, and my biggest thing is, especially for guys, we invest everywhere. We invest in the stock market. We invest in making sure that our cars have 300,000 miles on them, oil change, tire rotations, all that stuff. But where we fail to invest is in our bodies. And we only got one of them. So I would tell anybody out there, invest in yourself, invest in your health, come in and give it a try. That's the worst that could happen. You can come in and give it a try and say, eh, it's not for me, or that's exactly what I'm looking for. And for me, it was exactly what I was looking for. Okay. All right. And then I just have a couple of other questions and we'll wrap up. I want to know, obviously, right, you understand the balance and the idea of where it's coming from to have a coach. So you have trainers who help in there with it, but you know, as well as I do, any trainer or coach who's good at what they're doing can, can progress and show you the right ways to do things. But I'm more curious to know about what type of people they are here. So give me a few words or phrases that describe the trainers here. Family. I mean, uh, the, the, the trainers here, depending on who you have, is either a, a big brother or a big sister. Mm -hmm. um, they have an amazing memory recollection of who you are, where you've been, what's going on on the weekend, who your, your kids are. They ask all kinds of questions. Come in on a Monday. Hey, TJ, where were you this weekend? My son plays soccer. Where, where'd you go? How'd he do? So they really care about the people and they're really invested um, more so from a, from a job. It doesn't feel like the trainers, it's their job to train you. And though we know it is, um, but they have a real investment and, and care about each person that comes in to get the results that they set out to get. Okay. The last question I have is, is you've been there for just a little over a month, right, as we're talking. Yep. And you talk about you've kind of gotten into a good lifestyle change at this point. So there's a lot of benefits that have come from you uh, through all of this. Let's say right now Matt decides to close the place down. Let's say he turns off his phone, tells all his trainers, yeah. turn off your phones, you never talk to him again, and this is the last time you could ever say anything to them. No one's the last time. What would you want to say? Oh, man. Um, so far, thank you. Thank you for getting me excited to come back to get work to work out. Thank you for making it a priority in my life uh, to get in, to get healthy, to recognize that I have a vision and I have a goal, that I want to have a long, healthy lifestyle. Um, so thank you. And I'm sorry you're closing. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, TJ, thanks so much for taking time out of the day to come in, share your story and experience. I think it's really cool. And I want to wish you the best of luck moving forward, especially with the uh, recovery and the Achilles and, and right everything on. else. So I appreciate it. Thank you. Great. No, thank you.